For people on foot, the crosswalk is meant to be a safe zone, but they're only as safe as the drivers around them. Unfortunately, 25% of all people who are hit by cars are in a crosswalk when they're hit. Tony has more in today's Behind the Wheel. Do you see this crosswalk? This one right here. Do you see it? Of course you don't because it's not here, but actually it is. That's because in Oregon, every intersection is a legal crosswalk, whether it's marked or not. Oregon crosswalk laws are complicated. They can vary depending on where the crosswalk is located, the number and direction of lanes, whether a driver is turning or going straight, and whether or not there are traffic signals. Even if a driver knows all the crosswalk laws, they don't always follow the rules if they're distracted or in a hurry. To address this, Portland has all kinds of measures and devices in place to make it safer to cross the street. But according to a recent study, it's more dangerous now than it has been in 25 years. So to simplify the process and make it safer, here's a good general rule of thumb for drivers to keep in mind. Whether a pedestrian is coming or going, you should stop and remain stopped outside of the crosswalk if they're closer than a lane and a half from your car. A lane and a half, minimum, no matter what. Again, that's just a common sense rule of thumb. For specifics, I urge you to check out your Oregon driver's manual. Now it stands to reason that if every driver kept their car a lane and a half away from every pedestrian every time they drove, nobody would ever get hit by a car. That may be wishful thinking, but it is something worth thinking about. I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon. The other thing too, Tony, is <clears throat> we as drivers have a huge responsibility, but as pedestrians, we have a responsibility. I mean, sure. oh, yeah. I'm not gonna assume that somebody's gonna stop for me. I like to sort of make the eye contact Absolutely. before I walk yeah. into a busy intersection. It's a, it's a very tricky, because there are a lot of nuances to that law, but yeah. one of the things that is important is that that stop and stay stopped outside of the crosswalk. Right. But I mean, a lot of times if you do that, you can't see what's happening right. at the intersection. So the idea is stop first and then move Kinda forward to check forward. the clearance, that thing. So uh, it, wow. it's tricky. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I know the tricky thing too is like if you are uh, going down a sidewalk on the left side of the road and somebody's coming out and turning um, to the right, uh -huh. they just look to the left as yeah. you're walking this way, even though it's a sidewalk, not even right. a crosswalk. They're looking for right. cars, not people. Right. Or they're looking for cars coming this way mm -hmm. and nothing coming this way. So it's uh, one of those things. Be aware. Uh, I always yeah, assume nobody sees me, That's no matter what. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. sees when me. They walk and drive and right. ride your bike, whatever. That's why I go <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Hopefully they can That's see great me. advice. Yeah. There it is. Sort of freaks people, people out. <laughs> <laughs> they stop and stare. Yeah. Put, put that in your story right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me.